Hey bitches, welcome back to my channel. I'm sitting here once again with the love of my life, Dustin Dopamine. How are you doing today? I'm okay, you guys. This is our second take because we got way too far into it before yes. and then we started like word vomiting everywhere. Like, so we're going to give it our best effort this time. Literally just rambling. I am <laughs> freshly dabbed and I am here and I am ready to talk about some drama. Mm -hmm. There's some drama going on with none other than Miss Nikita Dragon. Oh, who would have thought? And, you know, towards the end of 2021, Nikita was being very problematic. Yes. She pissed a lot of people off with her song D-I-C-K then she had to go into hiding there was the whole R.I.P. Nikita Dragon thing she dropped that cheap merch yeah. that everyone was dragging her for and now Nikita it appears is going to be on that Hype House During show. all of that drama that Nikita was going through there was the talk that there was going to be this show on Netflix about the Hype House and mm -hmm. a lot of people are like maybe that got postponed or pushed back because of all the drama Nikita was in because really everyone stopped talking about it yeah. and then it came out like a few of them said like well we're not sure about a date exactly and it was around the same time when she was getting dragged. Is the Hype House even really popular yeah. anymore? Because I, I don't, don't see anything on Twitter about them. Like, I never see anybody mention them. Like, what Like what even is the Hype House I anymore? Feel, I think the Hype House ended. Oh, did it? I think that all those houses are, like, done. Like, nobody talks about those houses anymore. Well, like, then you why never... are they going to come out with this show? Well, like... it was probably already filmed. Oh, you're probably right. But a lot of people think that it got pushed back because it's premiering in, like, a few days. And Nikita said that it's going to expose a lot of people's favorites oh, okay. for the fake and phony now, that they are. Now, we all know what that is because we know what Nikita does. Yes. Nikita is trying some drama, so hopefully the ratings will be a little bit better. Is I it going to be good? I don't think it's going to work. Is it going to be interesting? I don't think it's going to be anything. I don't even think many people are going to watch. Is this going to be another Snapchat thing or is this supposed to be this on Netflix? This is on Netflix. Oh. Like Netflix paid some big bucks for this one. They put the production into it. Oh, well, you know, Netflix will scrap stuff in a second. So, oh, I mean. No. <laughs> you know what? No, but you know what? This I think that everyone should be pissed off about this because they got rid of Sabrina to give us the hype house. What? That's, That's what, what that is. No. They cut all those amazing shows off of Netflix and now we're getting oh, the Hype oh house. yeah, you're right. Sabrina was amazing. Yeah, and but now you know, we have to have the hype. Sabrina house. is actually coming back, but she's going to be on Riverdale. Okay, but I don't. Know. I know it's not the same. It's, it's never going to be the same. I need to see like the ants. All I could that. do. I could deal with less hype house and have more Sabrina. Yeah, I, agree. I would be totally fine. With I agree. That. If you're excited about the hype house show, let us know down <laughs> in the comment section. Leave some kind of emoji down there to let us know. Or do you think Nikita is just? Do you actually? Do you think that anyone's going to be exposed on that show? No. Or do you think that Nikita is just trying to drum up something? Uh, she's totally. kind of like she's kind of like the house mother. That's her trying to just get some attention. That's what that is. She's I ordering agree. attention, and I wonder if people are going to give it to her. Speaking of attention, there is a lot of negative attention right now pointing at none other than Jeffree Star, Laura Lee, and Tana Mojo. And rightfully freaking Tana so. Manganau. So, of course, everyone knows that we are in the new year. And, of course, on New Year's Eve, a lot of people go out and celebrate. Yes. Now, a lot of people are upset because they really haven't been doing what they would normally do to celebrate over these past few years, considering we're in the Panini. Yeah. But a lot of influencers either left the country or went to these extremely packed parties while we are kind of in, like, you know... The middle very, of an outbreak of uh, Omarion. Yeah, the Omarion variant. <laughs> so a lot of people are upset because they think that these influencers are like snubbing their nose to it and just saying, ha ha, you, I'm just going to care about myself and go out and have fun. That's ridiculous. Like we're going to be doing this forever. I think so. In 10 years, we're still going to be in the same spot because people don't want to stay home. I just, I can't imagine like wanting to like leave the country during what's going I, listen, on. Listen, girl, I, even before the Panini Press, I was not into being in a whole big group of people. That was never my yeah. deal. I don't like that. I don't, mm -mm, the nightlife and everything, but especially like Tana and them, like they were like taking shots, throwing all these drinks back and then like sharing their drinks and like kissing Ooh, and no. like there, there was a lot of saliva going around. Ooh. There was a lot of body bodily fluids that were uh, being passed back and forth between all these people. Yep. Being gross. Yep. They're menaces to public society at this point. Yes, but people are outraged at them over this because they're like, well, we stayed home and you guys are going out right. and having fun. As do you think that be. we're at the point, though, where people kind of just have to, like, live their life? Or do you think that people have to live kind of like scared to like stay home i mean this omarion variant that's i don't out here. think that you should be scared but i think that you should be vigilant i think yes. that you shouldn't put yourself in situations that could possibly lead to you being infected or infecting other people because listen the other day we dodged a bullet because my cousin uh came down here she took our family to disney world i thought that was a bad move but they all ended up with uh the omarion yeah and now i dodged that bullet because i didn't feel well that day i had a stomach bug like my stomach was on 10 but like 
I feel like people are just not doing their best when it comes to things that they could do to prevent this and the spread of it. Because I don't think that going out and partying with your friends and popping bottles and pouring champagne in one another's mouth is going to get us to where we need to be. Yeah. I don't know. They are kind of saying that maybe if so many people get this new variant that the herd immunity will be just moved along a little bit faster. I don't know. So maybe that's what they're hoping for. I'm really Who knows? like... This whole, the whole state of the world is so sad to me and to see so many people be so selfish of other people, it, like, it's just sad. It pisses me off and gets on my nerves all at the same time. Yeah, so Jeffrey's down there in Mexico celebrating. Mm -hmm. Tana, I don't know where Tana was. Tana was at somewhere. She was in Las Vegas, DJs. girl. Yeah, she was in Las Vegas. She was in her hometown. Laura Lee was out partying. Oh, yeah, mingling. girl. Laura Lee was out there living her best <laughs> life. There was many Instagram stories of oh, Laura no. Lee. Mini. Oh no. It's crazy. Oh no, no, it's no. It's like no, how no. far out of touch with reality are you? Do you not like have access to the internet? That that can't be possible. Be these people live on the internet. They see everything the way we see it. Yeah. You know, so I mean you don't have to watch the news every day to know that we're in the middle of a panini press.
I just don't have time for it. I like to stay home. I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm I am perfectly fine okay with staying with home. with being home. If I never have to step foot out of the house again, yeah, I'll be happy. Right, right. <laughs> I'll never I can hear the comments now like, stop living in fear. Get out and oh, live your life. Oh, it's not anything we do, to girl. do with fear. It's just <laughs> being smart and being proactive and doing what you can and protecting yourself and your family. And yeah. these people have no sense of that. They they yeah. have no sense, when, common sense when it comes to this. They're like, oh, we got tested. We got tested. Well, okay, that's fine. But the test isn't going to prevent you from spreading it to other people, even if you know if you have it. You know what I mean? Especially with everything that's going on. So with all that said, everyone, please let us know your thoughts and opinions down below on all these influencers going out to these parties. Do you think that people have the right to be outraged over this? Or do you think that they are just looking for tits on an ant and people need to get back to living their lives how they want to live their lives? Mm -hmm. Love you guys. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.